Is Tay-K trying to let the ladies know he's still in the game and they shouldn't share all the cookies before he gets back home? Well, I don't think these ladies would want Tay-K 55 years from now. But the strings Tay-K seems to be pulling while behind bars are not the type you'd expect from a 22-year-old sentenced to 55 years in prison. Keep watching till the end of this video to see what's really happening to Tay-K in prison. Trust me, you don't want to miss this. Tay-K's prison sentence for murder. It's almost like a regular thing from boys from the hood to have it really rough during their teenage years. While some of them upgrade from detention classes to juveniles, some teenage boys like Tay-K go all the way to get served a long jail term for the better part of their lives. Tay-K didn't get enough chance to exploit his transition from a teenager to an adult. This young dude committed crimes bad enough to lock him up for a long time. A Tyrant County, Texas jury found Tay-K guilty of murder in July 2019. The rapper was accused of being involved in a July 2016 home invasion robbery that went wrong and left 21-year-old Ethan Walker dead. Tay-K was barely going through puberty, as he was just 16 years old at the time of the incident. Tay-K was sentenced to 55 years in prison after being found guilty of murder. In addition, the then 19-year-old rapper was sentenced to 30 years in prison on one count of aggravated robbery and given two additional 13-year sentences on two other counts of aggravated robbery. Also, Tay-K was fined a total of $21,000. Not only did he leave his family with the burden of him not being around, he also left a huge amount of debt to be paid. Tay-K rose to fame in 2017 after he released the music video for his song, The Race, which he recorded while he was supposed to be on house arrest. Unfortunately, Tay-K wasn't lucky enough to enjoy his fame as he was apprehended the same day he shared the video, on June 30th, 2017. Tay-K's first offense was his capital murder charge in Bexar County, Texas, where he allegedly shot and killed a 23-year-old photographer named Mark Anthony Saldivar. Tay-K didn't even give his attorneys so much to argue about as he additionally faced three lawsuits. A wrongful death lawsuit from Saldivar's mother, a lawsuit from Ethan Walker's parents, and Zachary Belliot, an individual who was also harmed in the July 2016 home invasion robbery, and a lawsuit from Oni Skip Pepe and his wife Barbara. The Pepes claim that Tay-K assaulted Skip in a park in May 2017. Damn, Tay-K was out there messing up his teenage years while his mates were trying to graduate high school. It really seems like Tay-K may end up getting additional punishment or jail term after that close to six decades term. Tay-K's letter from prison. Some people would prefer to just sit there down in jail till their trial starts, but Tay-K isn't one of them. He had something on his mind and wanted the world to know about it. So the young rapper wrote a letter about why he deserves to be on this year's XXL freshman list. Tay-K's letter was posted to the rapper's Instagram page on his behalf by his team representative with the caption, No matter if Tay makes the list or not, he wanted me to share his letter he wrote. I've been dreaming of being an XXL freshman longer than I can remember. I'm 17 years old and I have your audience. Tay-K continued, I was one of the SoundCloud artists to make the Billboard Hot 100 charts on top of that. I have 100 million views on my hit song, The Race. Being a kid that came from nothing, I feel like that says a lot and motivates other unfortunate kids to dream big and reach for the stars, making your challenges temporary and your vision permanent. And he concluded, I occupy myself writing music and educating myself. I don't look to glorify none of this stuff. Tay-K's letter was well received by his fans as they claimed they still believe in the rapper and he could still further his career whether in or out of prison. But some people on social media didn't give a about his letter as they said the young man was just trying to buy people's pity. However, Tay-K still bagged 55 years in prison. So if he tried to run that pity game, it definitely didn't work out for him. Tay-K's possible release. If anyone loves to give his fans information to hold on to, that would definitely be Tay-K. He never leaves them out in the cold. Either he sends his management to relay a message or he shows up himself through a video or puts his pen at work. As the rapper has been incarcerated for about four years now, he sadly had to celebrate his 21st birthday behind bars. But it didn't appear to be a sad day for him. 
As TK let his fans know, he still has some hope for his release. TK announced on June 15, 2021, through his representatives, that he would be doing a live stream the following day. And the live would serve as a question and answer forum for fans to ask whatever they wished to know. Well, he kept to his word and showed up on Instagram Live. During the Instagram Live chat, the rapper hinted to his fans he may be released from jail while letting them know he got new tattoos on his hand. He also told his fans how happy he was that his hit The Race song went platinum and claimed he wanted to make new music. TK dropped the hint on his supposed release when he said, That's looking good, too. You know all the coming home situation and I know a lot of people want to know about that. He added, My case on appeal right now, there's still hope and there's definitely still a chance for me to come home on an appeal bond. TK continued, It's like when you bond out, but you don't appeal your case, so they got to give you a bond. And then I have a bond here, so I'm gonna bond out on both of those. That's kind of what I want to happen. But unfortunately, there is no word on whether an appeal bond exists, since TK is reportedly still on a thin line for a second murder charge, which is a capital murder charge and is punishable by a life sentence. In 2020, TK's representatives addressed a rumor that he had additional time put on his sentence for stabbing a prison guard. All rumors of Taymor's sentencing being extended are false, a statement from TK's representatives read. Tay has stayed out of trouble and the media is still fighting against him to paint him in an untrue narrative. Appeals are still continuing and he will be home soon. Hashtag free TK. TK's fresh look behind bars. TK is steadily reminding his fans he's up and running. He isn't one of those people to look all raggedy in prison as he shares photos from prison. Adolescents must have done an excellent job on TK because this man looks totally unrecognizable. The rapper who turned 22 on June 16th, 2022, shared some birthday snaps of himself behind bars. Probably TK knew his fans would be waiting on his birthday pictures and they didn't waste time as they took to social media to wish him a happy birthday with so many well wishes. Man must be feeling butterflies in his stomach to still have people rooting for him while he's in there. TK, whose prison sentence is meant to be served concurrently, as he was involved in more than two crimes, will only be eligible for parole after about 28 years, dated January 23rd, 2047. Do you think TK is really getting out anytime soon? Or do you think the young rapper is used to the wave of the prison and he's just trying to make his fans feel better? Join the conversation and let us know in the comments section below. That's the end of today's video, guys. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe for more content. Also, don't forget to smash that like button and leave a comment down below. Thanks.